morning everyone thanks for uh, clicking on the video watching the channel appreciate it you join me on a video where we're gonna just be doing a bit of street photography in town today here on this Saturday morning in uh, mid-november 2018 here with the dogs Fancy coming along come on then so here's the condemned St Aidan's Church which has been um, condemned by the Scottish Borders Council which in my opinion is a disgrace yeah, 140 year old Victorian building which is part of the skyline here in Galashiels and it seemed to be uh, demolished Yeah this is a useful uh, tool if you've got a bike and you've got a problem with it they supply a pump and a whole plethora of tools Allen keys, pliers, chain link tool, levers to take off tyres yeah, awesome So there's been nothing that's happened at the Abbotsford Hotel apart from it's just gotten worse and uh, there's no fencing here now and I wouldn't even take my dogs down there all the glass and porcelain it's, it's literally an absolute disgrace absolute disgrace this interests me here an old Victorian lamppost in all its grandeur with the lamp removed and an awful modern lamp this is the Art Deco Pavilion Cinema this poster here for um, Freddie Mercury has some connection with the town as uh, the leather jackets used in the film are actually made in Gala Shields. So it's turned out to be an absolutely beautiful afternoon. So I brought the drone with me and we're heading up to uh, Gala Hill which is uh, just behind me here. I've been spending the morning uh, just making a tune on the uh, piano which I'll play in a second with the drone footage and also I've uh, been listening to Stephen King uh, his audio book Tommy Knockers Peregrine's out today, sitting on one of the gargoyles here at St Paul's. He's admiring the view. Yeah, there's some seriously scary gargoyles on this church. There you can see them. Yeah, very scary. Yes, yeah, so I'd just like to say if anybody who watches the videos knows of any locations or wants me to come and uh, film for them with the drone, if they've got anything of interest, if they'd like, you know, obviously I won't charge anything because I'm not a commercial pilot, but I'm prepared to come and offer my services for free. Yeah, leave a comment or contact me. I'll leave my email in the uh, description below. Never actually understand why people burn the insides of trees out to me it seems it seems quite an evil sort of thing to do really why would you want to burn the inside of a tree yeah if anybody knows 
why people burn the insides of tree trunks out because uh, I see quite a lot of it around here which is a shame because I think it compromises the tree but yeah leave me a comment below let me know yeah, so it's one of those beautiful still afternoons perfect for flying drones apart from the light being quite harsh I haven't got an ND filter for the drone so the difference between the sky and the ground being the sky being really light and the ground being dark sort of throws the exposure off on the camera so if you've ever seen that film the poltergeist steven spielberg this tree reminds me of the tree out of poltergeist check out this here it's like a gargoyle there's another fabulous oak tree Yeah, here's another one. Old grandfather tree. 300, 400 years old. Oh, I just noticed this. What absolute fucking idiot has done this? Somebody called Mark? Man, you should be ashamed of yourself, man. That's terrible. That's been recently done as well. How awful. So there was a building here, where I'm standing, near, near to here, called New Gala House. Uh, and you can see the picture of it now. It was uh, demolished in 1987. And it was abandoned for quite a considerable time before they demolished it. I'm so gutted that I missed that. Yeah, okay, so you can see one of the raised banks here. And what looks like possibly could be an old basement or a cellar that's capped off with uh, looks like modern concrete because the house was built with old stone so i'm thinking maybe there could possibly be a cellar here which would be interesting to find yeah it's incredible how fast nature changes things so this would have been uh, one of the, the main roads to the house it's lined with absolutely fantastic trees i mean just look at this one how wide the trunk is Yeah, it's like it's got loads of little eyes in the tree. Really, really impressive. So this is now owned by Scottish Borders Council and it's known as the Policies. But it would have been a fantastic garden for the, uh, uh, the old house that was here. I'd love to know the story of why it became abandoned. I suspect they just ran out of money. And the place was just left, which is what happens to a lot of places. Very impressive. Yeah, so that's it from me and the dogs. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next one, yeah? It's all right.